What would you do if I could guarantee you a 10% return on your money for 20 years? Our collateral effectively is that the sun's going to rise. And with a contract backed by the Ontario Power Authority for 20 years, then it's definitely a good investment. Queen's University has the opportunity to be the first solar-powered university in the world because of these far-seen policies. Last year, we completed a study that found over 87,000 square meters of potential roof space to deploy solar photovoltaic cells at Queen's University. These cells will convert sunlight directly into electricity. That electricity will be fed back onto the grid, both to provide our own energy needs, but also the energy needs of our neighbors. Now is an even better time to do this because of the feed-in tariff, which is being offered in Ontario, um, very similar to other places in the world, where they give them a high rate incentive for their electrical energy. I'm a pretty devoted student. I spend a lot of my time on the fourth floor of, of software library and I look out the windows and I see windmills and they'll make, those make me happy, certainly. But what I also see is that we have 85,000 square meters of roof space that's just gone totally unexploited. Um, and certainly that roof space has a value and, and just to see that glaring in your face uh, being gone unused uh, is disappointing because we can turn that into a secure, uh, predictable and reliable revenue source. The potential income from this application will be between two and five million dollars depending on what type of solar cells we decide to, to deploy. That is profit per year. The reason I'm interested in business is that if you convince people based on, uh, on economics and good economic sense, uh, you're much more likely to change their opinion and, and, and to change the way they act. Uh, so with that said, Queen's lost 29 percent on their investments in the past year, which is certainly disappointed as a student uh, with my tuition dollars on the line. And so what I want from Queen's uh, is a much more conservative, much more secure uh, economic policy and economic outlook. Now, based on the fact that there is a proven track record on these uh, solar cells and backed by warranties of manufacturers, then you can definitely surely say, okay, well, this will be my returns over 20 years. And with a contract backed by the Ontario Power Authority for 20 years, then it's definitely a good investment. Queen's University could be the first solar-powered university in the world. We have a long history of solar at this school. Thousands of students and alumni have worked on the solar car team. We had one of the first building integrated photovoltaic uh, projects in Canada. And now we're looking to expand that project to every single rooftop on campus that, is, that meets both technical and aesthetic qualifications.